you know someone say I don't really care and then you go on talking about it for like a 10 minutes this is probably going to be one of them so it was announced earlier on um this week that Lucian Clark um a skater with Palace and a few other places had signed for Louis Vuitton's newly formed skateboarding division Yes, you heard that right. Louis Vuitton, the premier streetwear skateboarding brand of the 90s, a brand that was synonymous with grip tape and trucks <laughs> and Allen keys and skate tools, right? A, a brand that goes hand in hand with Fresher had finally snapped up one of the hot prospects on the skateboarding scene, <coughs> Lucian Clark. Of course, that's not true. Lou, Louis Vuitton has as much to do with skateboarding as Eddie Murphy has to do with graffiti but we are where we are in it so news has got revealed lucian's got his own signature shoe and i don't give a shit i really don't i don't care i think the shoe looks like shit i think it's a bad idea i think it sends out the wrong message i don't like anything about it and i'm gonna tell you why i really shouldn't be bothered about it it's not really me it's not aimed at someone like myself but it just really 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 pisses me off number one because I feel as if some people in skateboarding have such a weird obsession with fashion. They are so enamored with that scene, with that industry. Mostly it has to do with, you know, um, skaters loving smashing bloody models and stuff, right? Because, you know, models love a bad boy and there's no better poser bad boy than a skater pretending to be a bad man, right? People love that. They love that kind of hard attitude of a couple sovereigns acting hard, gold tooth, whack, crap tattoos, right? Get, model girls tend to love that kind of stuff so i get it right models love skaters skaters love models it's a match made in heaven but over the years it seems like the actual industry the people involved um with with them skateboarding the movers and the shakers the people at the core no pun intended are also trying to line themselves up with fashion people or get themselves aligned with the menswear groups and the menswear contingent it's just really odd Odd for me because I remember when I was coming up and I was starting to skate when I was 14, 13, like one of the, again, this was back in the day. So there weren't a lot of black people skating in, in, in general, not a lot of black people from ends either. So when I'd go to slam, when I'd go to these conventions, when I'd go to Bay 66, when I'd go to these skate parks, when I'd go and see these people at these events, at these bars and pubs, they would vibe me the fuck out. They'd be so rude. They'd be so just shitty people to hang about with and treat me with such disrespect especially at that time when i was that young wide-eyed eager to get involved and these were adults these are grown adults who didn't really want to you know make room for the young kids coming in or just didn't really like my vibe whatever i don't know i hardly even spoke during those eras i was just trying to soak up game and just be around people but they were so shitty like terrible people horrible people i met some good eggs here and there but for the most part some of the, especially some of the guys that slam city skates the, it, just, it took like 10 years for those guys even to say hi to me when i was going to that store and i was going in there before the dunk sb thing was a thing right i was going in there just in general to buy stuff right to buy boards to buy you know grip tape to just hang out in the shop maybe pick up a magazine or two pick up a free zine like that gray zine back in the day i was just trying to get myself involved in it but they didn't want to know they didn't want to know then of course time progresses and these new kids come out these kind of hype beasty rich kids from Labrook Grove come out. Some of them end up starting brands like Palace and they kind of, you know, um, um, fetishize this working class aesthetic um, to kind of give themselves some sort of edge, which I think is extremely cringe, but do your thing. And they completely blow up. And all these older folk who are the ones pushing people like myself out and icing us out were welcoming these guys with open arms and now these guys are the ones that are now kind of pushing towards aligning themselves with the glitzy fashion world and the thing that's odd about the fashion world is that these fashion people wouldn't piss on us if we were on fire legitimately right i've worked in each industry i've had a bit of a taste of working in each segment and i know what they say about people like us behind our backs right if we like just just imagine trying to rock up to a louis vuitton store now would your, would your, would your skateboard after a session at Myland, right, wearing non streetwear bits, actually wearing core streetwear brand head to toe? I mean, core skateboarding brand head to toe, nothing fashiony. And imagine trying to rock up there and trying to buy something and see the looks you'd get, especially if you were somebody of my complexion. It just isn't a vibe. So to somehow suggest that um, Louis Vuitton are skate friendly and have some sort of affinity with skateboarding because they happen to have Virgil at the head honcho seat of Louis Vuitton, which makes, you know, just about as much sense as me designing UFC gear. Because I watch it doesn't mean I know anything about it, right? Can Virgil even ollie up a curb and he's living 
leading a flipping skateboarding division at Louis Vuitton. It doesn't make sense, mate. It really doesn't. None of it makes sense. But again, what do I know? So this is from Hype Beast. It says Lucian Clark reveals his signature uh, Louis Vuitton skate shoe. You got a picture of him holding him. Another picture. You got an absolutely corny like cringe image of a money table with the shoes on the box there which you know they can do what they want with it um Lucia, uh, clark has seen the build on instagram the signature louis vuitton skate shoe marking the first piece of skateboarding footwear in the french fashion houses 166 history as if it's some sort of achievement they're a leather goods company right that has now kind of transitioned into making ready to wear it's not that big of a deal that they didn't have skateboarding within 166 history it's just like <clears throat> and again it's just so heavy-handed isn't it it really is um would Jake Phelps would would Jake Phelps have approved of this advertisement with Vince Fresher if he was alive? Who knows? But again, come on, really. A lot of y'all is still sounding like last year. The game needs change, and I'm the motherfucking cash. That outfit is at least what ten grand, maybe twenty. Unless they're gonna come out and say, "Hey, we've got a we've got an LVSB brand that we're bringing out where everything's under under two hundred pounds." This would let this would definitely be maybe the most high ticket skateboarding brand on the market without a doubt, hundred percent. It would be much more than what was that brand that Musk had for a bit. He collabed with some really high falutin brand, and the clothes were super expensive. This was when he was wearing Rick and shit. Oh, I forgot what it was, man. He's wearing Boris. He used to rock. He did a collaboration with his brand that, like, the prices were insane. This is definitely gonna be up there. What do you think is gonna? What do you think is gonna be priced at this? This stuff. What do you think? The shoes on their own. What do you think they're gonna price the shoes at? It's just mad, bro. Absolutely mad that this is like a a celebrated thing. Don't get me wrong. For the guy himself, I don't know. If if you're his friend, congratulations. I don't know the guy, so I don't really care. But whatever. I guess it's a good thing. But overall, as a, if you're a fan of skateboarding, it's like. And again, for myself, like, it's just like, wow, man. Like, the it, it's just like, <laughs> I was this guy back in the day, right? Trying to get involved, trying to hang around. And you, they iced you out, right? Mostly, again, mostly white middle-aged men icing you out of the scene because they don't want to get you in. It, they don't want to get you involved. Then suddenly this dusty skateboard brand comes along like Palace. They start filming everything in, v, in VHS. They start having kids hanging around with sovereigns and wearing sweatpants with loafers, uh, you know edgy boys and then suddenly suddenly the floodgates open suddenly they want to welcome everybody in the scene like oh god almighty so it's uh, virgil's post regarding it he says i'm just signed jamaica's own all right cringe he's on the uh, oh, i don't blame virgil because virgil's on his whole black lives matter redemption tour right he's, he's been doing all these initiatives and actions in order to kind of prove that he's a ally to black people which is you know i don't know i guess it appeals to the work crowd but i don't blame him for putting jamaica's own in front of there do you ever look at lucian and think of a jamaican i don't know maybe if you follow him on instagram he's just talking about jamaica but i never even knew that was a thing but fair enough just signed jamaica's own lucian clark to louis vuitton as a first skater deal of this type it gave him free reign to design his pro model been filming clips for a year now first official advert is in the fresher that's shipping in a second okay cool man i guess isn't it it's all a bit cringe to me um a table full of money whatever louis vuitton skate shoes makes sense um it's all it's, it's a brilliant idea right isn't it a brilliant idea 900 pound shoes 10 grand outfit this is what all skaters want in it really isn't it god almighty what next like uh bloody um graph friendly louis vuitton bags like um says so that from what can be seen this is just a type of feature so what can be seen clark and abelos teasers post the design channels puffy 90s uh, silhouette with a layered mesh and suede upper with features clark's full name scrolls and lateral mid for an, an lv here on the tongue midsoles are thick semi-translucent a final lv stamp also appears on the rear on the outsole both black and orange and green and gray colors were uh, teased by the skater and the designer apart from his on-brand exploits the jamaica why do they keep saying jamaican born london base is that like a thing can I say Angolan born, London based? Can I say that? Is, it, is that the thing that people are doing now to give themselves more like, you know, um, uh, minority points? This is a bloody odd place that we live in this world, isn't it? Look, Jamaican born, London based. Odd. Oh, that's what I am now. Angolan born, London based. Uh, palace sponsored clerk has also modeled Louis Vuitton looks book looks his runway shows and been the face of many palace campaigns further for more information so that it's as yet to be revealed but yeah I don't I, again man it's just it's just funny man it's just funny back in the day when we were trying to get involved slam six gates with ice like imagine what those flipping what was that short guy in slam that was really angry all the time 
and always a bit of a cunt and he warmed up over a period of time but he was a bit of a dick in the beginning all the time i forgot his name like imagine what he would have thought of back in the days you rocked up in a pair of this is as dumb as i remember one time when i had um i was doing a review of the balenciaga triple s's that i have right you know the shoe <coughs> Well, I hope you do anyway. Let me get up on here. Balenciaga, Triple S, Black Red, right? I've got a pair of these Balenciaga Black and Reds. Probably, you know, one of the first people to get them. Doesn't really matter. It's a really ugly fashion shoe. I got them because I like them and I'm in love with them and everything that he does. But I've got a pair of these, right? And I did a review of them on my channel. It's somewhere there. Search for it or find it. Um, and some kid messaged me earnestly, right? And asked if these shoes were good for running. They ask, hey, are these shoes good for running? Is this a good running shoe? And again, I'm okay with kids emailing me, asking me questions. They do all the time. And I try and give back because I think when I was coming up, the, the olders were fucking cunts. Like I mentioned about the Slam City Skates and that whole skate crew, you know, document team, all these people. I used to go to some, I used to go to like, you know, magazine launches and stuff and just get completely disrespected. But hey, I was in love with skateboarding, still am, and didn't want to, I just want to be around it. But I know, I know now what not to do with youngers, right? I'll give them the game. I'll give them whatever knowledge I have. And I was like, no, it's not a good running shoe at all. Like the whole, the concept of the shoe, you know, essentially takes it away from being a good running shoe because it's got free soles stacked on top of it, right? Triple sole. Um, it's a it's a fashion shoe, and um, in general, I always tell people like, if you're gonna buy a sneaker, buy a sneaker from an actual athletics or sportswear brand, right? They do them the best. Don't buy the trainer um, variant of it from a fashion. Don't buy the ver the fashion variation of it from a fashion brand. It makes no sense. But that was a genuine question. They asked me, hey, do you think these shoes would be good for running? That's about as good as saying, you know, do you think a Louis Vuitton shoe would be good for skating? What do they know about flipping skating? Nothing whatsoever. Zero. Just about as much as I know about, you know, I don't know, designing bloody kits for an Olympic team. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. And again, maybe it's just a period, you know, time evolves, things change. But it's just interesting to see that the way I was treated, the way the people that I hung out was treated when we came up in the scene, it's completely opposite of what's going on now. If anything, they're embracing all the kind of... um you call them fuck boys, right? the fashion fuck boys, the guys that kind of sit around with their legs a certain direction and wear all these um, trinkets on the side of their jeans. And they always seem to have like, you know, they always seem to have that sad face and shit. They love those kids now, right? And when we were, the, we were that, and we were those version of those kids when we were younger, right? We had our little thing, but they didn't want us around. And now they want Louis Vuitton sneakers that are going to be priced at 900 pounds, you know, going up into skate stores. And again, what are they going to do? They're going to make like a fake. Imagine, imagine they put, imagine Louis Vuitton, you could, imagine Virgil makes a, a pop-up store with a mini ramp in it and shit. Like how cringe that would be. Seeing all the dusty skaters around trying to frolic and, um, you know, uh, dance around and frolic with the fashion crew people who are trying to pretend like they're down and they don't mind that energy. Because when 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 if you've been to an actual real skate launch event, you know how rowdy they get and how naughty some of those guys can get. So I can only imagine how much of those guys will put up with it. And again, just thinking about it too, it's also in complete opposite to what they've done previously. Do you remember that case, that story about Louis Vuitton suing that kid that did a suicide like, is it drop or something at some store in LA somewhere, right? Do you remember? He got fined like $30,000 or something, had to go do community service because he decided to do a, tr a trick off of a Louis Vuitton store sign. Do you remember that? If you don't, I think there's a little clip here that kind of details a bit of it. And now this brand I decided that they're the friends of skateboarding. It's just so cringe. Makes absolutely no sense. The hypocrisy here is incredible. But again, what do you expect, isn't it? They're trying to tap into the core. They want the youth market. So they have to do what they have to do, isn't it? But for me, for me, not, not thank you. That's what I say in this regard. Let me see if I can get up here. It's loading. It's taking a while because my computer's slow. Maybe if I had those Louis Vuitton skate shoes on, it'll go a bit quicker, innit? <laughs> oh, it's so dead. So bloody dead, man. <laughs> oh, this scene is amazing, man. It, makes me, it just makes me laugh. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is it. You see it? When I did that, Bloody yeah. Yeah. Absolutely no finesse with it as well, isn't it? Right? He climbs over the side of it outside of the store and skating off of it. But I'm when I did that, and just jumps down. Sure I didn't break anything. And they sued him. And I think he did community service. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did community service. He had to pay a fine. This is um the friend of skateboarding, by the way. Yeah, Louis Vuitton, skateboarding's friend, well-known skateboarding brand. 
God on my. Anyway, maybe I'm wrong, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think the Louis Vuitton skateboarding shoe is a good idea? Um, are you happy with it? Um, what do you think it's going to be priced at? Will you buy a pair? Um, do you care? Um, would Jake Phelps have featured them if they if he was still alive now? Let me know in the comments below. And, oh, and if he was around during those days, right? Back in the day, right? When Sidewalk Magazine was an actual magazine, right? Were you around those days when I was about, right? Were you about? Do you know what happened? Did you see what happened? Am I maybe just remembering it wrong? Um, am I mischaracterizing people? Um, but, and, and again, maybe skateboarding has always been like that, right? I think it has. It's a thing, right? Everyone gets vibed out. But I'm just talking about sustained vibed out. Even when I reached the age of like 18, 21, these guys are still acting like dicks to me. And they see me every weekend coming to the store, you know, um, going to expos and stuff. It's just making any sense. But regardless, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and opinions are. I'd love to know what you guys think.